So my best friend, Carolina, um, I've known her since I was 14. She has been coming here for a couple years now and invited me to come join her. As we sat one Sunday, there was those little papers to fill out if we were interested in Alpha, and I immediately checked the box for myself um, and thought maybe my husband might come with. And I think that was the first time I really started to feel connected here, besides just coming here on Sunday. Um, we met such amazing group of people in that Alpha group, and to be honest, those folks are what's getting me through today, um, through the recent journey in my life. So March 17th, I went in for my very first mammogram and they called me to come for a follow-up. So March 24th, I went in for a follow-up and got the mammogram. And as I'm laying there for the ultrasound, she got very quiet and I laid on that table and just cried because I knew what they were about to tell me. And so on March 25th, I got the results that um, I do have two tumors that are malignant and have breast cancer. Through the diagnosis, I definitely had the first question, why, why God did I get breast cancer? Um, and I don't know if I know the answer why, and I don't know if I will ever know the answer why, but I 100% believe that it was his plan. Um, and I'm okay with that because I know that if I didn't find mission in August and develop these amazing relationships here and understanding and starting to have a relationship with him, I would not be able to do this next 18 weeks or year of my journey. So I don't know why and it's okay, but I know that this was part of his plan. And one of the guys that we're very close with through Alpha was baptized um, back in November. And the group has always talked about, you know, you and your husband are next to be baptized. And, um, you know, it was always when, when is the right time? And then through this diagnosis, um, I felt I was waiting to understand and let him tell me when is the right time for me. Um, so I will say it was Tuesday, a Tuesday before my appointment. Um, two gals from Mission came to meet with me at home and pray over me. And we talked about baptism again. And after they left, I emailed Blake and I said, sign me up. I, you know, I am ready. I feel this is the time for me. I. I am ready to accept him into my world and be alongside me in this journey. And it's been incredible. Looking at the people around you, listening to Dan, listening to Carolina, everything else was silent. Um, just hearing the words that they had to share with me, I had a new fresh breath. As you come up, you know, again, that was another question I had for my Alpha group is, you know, what do you feel afterwards? You know, it's very, I know you're not a new person, but what's that feeling? And I felt it, it was literally a fresh breath, a fresh wind, and I looked around me and knew I could, I could do what I need to do. What I would say to anybody who's thinking about being baptized, um, you will know. It will be a day, um, you know, and don't overthink it. Um, if you are ready to accept him into your life and to just breathe that fresh wind, you're ready. Um, and no better time than to do it here at Mission and have everybody be and rally for you and what an exciting experience. It was the most amazing experience I could, I could compare to. Like the birth of a child, but the, the birth of my fresh life, you know?